Hello kitty queens and kitty bitch tees. Today I will be doing my first drugstore tutorial and I'm gonna be taking the NYX Tame and Frame brow gel and using it to fill in my eyebrows. First, I'm gonna brush them out using a spoolie and then I'm gonna use the angle brush to fill them in. And y'all, I love this product, but the only con about it is that it dries out super fast. So if you have this product and you wanna use it, but it's dry, just stick a drop of oil in it and it will be good to go. After I have the back of my eyebrows filled in, I like to work toward the front and do a thin line to make my eyebrows a little bit more close together. I do a thin line and then I take the spoolie end of my brush and just blend that out to make it look like hair-like strokes. To clean up my eyebrows, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Camo Hydrating Concealer and this is the best concealer that I recommend that y'all get from the drugstore like hands down this is the best concealer that i've ever purchased from the drugstore i think everybody should get it and it's inexpensive so i'm using it to clean up my brows using this flat synthetic brush if you would like to know more about this brush or where i got this brush from just go to my cut crease 101 video and you will find the details on it there so i'm using this concealer to clean up the top and the bottom of my eyebrows and this in the shade deep cinnamon I chose to keep my arch higher up than what it normally is and I was a little skeptical about it but I just left it as is. Now I'm just blending out the concealer using this buffing brush. After I'm finished buffing it out I'm going to repeat the same process on the other eyebrow. eyebrows are finished as you can see they looking real good i was surprised about how good they came out period for an eyeshadow base i'm gonna go in with my elf camo concealer this is the matte one and it's in the shade tan latte i'm buffing out the base using the same buffing brush that i use to buff out the concealer around my eyebrows you want to have a very dense brush when buffing out anything on your face the palette i will be using today is the pro fusion spectrum palette and the first shade that i will be taking is this yellow one and i'm just going to be packing it on the inner corners of my eye today we're working from the inside to the outside if that makes sense As y'all can see, this yellow is very pigmented and this palette retails for $5, so I recommend all of y'all go get it, queens. The next shade that I will be taking is the green, and I'm just going to pack it right behind the yellow. After I've built up the green, I'm going to take that navy blue shade and put it on the outer edge of my eye. I put a gap in between the blue and the green just to give me more room to blend. The final shade that I will be taking from the palette is the purple and I'm going to put it on the edge of the blue and just blend it out. This is the only color that was not showing up as pigmented with my first swipe but I just built it up to the intensity that I wanted it to be.
After adding the purple, I decided to go back in with a little bit more of the green because I felt like I had lost it. And after I go back in with the green, I'm going to take a little bit more of the dark blue and go back in with it as well. To line my eyes, I'm just using my e.l.f. Black Liquid Liner and I wanted to do a long, thin wing today. So I'm starting off with my line very, very small and then towards the end, I'm going to thicken it. And I also wanted my wing to be very sharp, so I took my time with this step. After my wing is drawn, I'm going to take this single black eyeshadow from Wet n Wild and I'm just going to use it on top of the blue. I'm going to apply it directly into my crease. Y'all know it is not me if I don't have any black in my look. Like, come on now, we just got to add a little bit. Unfortunately, I do not have any drugstore lashes. So these lashes that I'm applying now are 25 millimeters. I order mine offline, but you can find them in the beauty supply store. I don't really like getting lashes out of the drugstore. I feel like they're overpriced for nothing because they're all thin to me. So yeah, I usually just order mine offline. Now we're about to get into my foundation routine and for my foundation I'm taking my Revlon Color Stay and I'm just swiping a few strokes of it on my face using my synthetic flat brush and after I'm finished covering all my fly areas I'm going to blend out the foundation using my Real Techniques sponge. To highlight my face, I'm using my e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer in the shade Deep Cinnamon. It's the same concealer that I use to clean up my eyebrows. To blend out the concealer, I'm going to be using my Real Technique sponge and I'm using the same side that I used to blend out my foundation just to make everything appear more seamless. I'm using the same buffing brush that I've been using to blend out the concealer on my nose so it can be more precise. Then I'm going to take my Fit Me Press Powder and I'm going to use it to set my highlighted areas.
on top of the pressed powder I decided to go in with the Maybelline fit me loose powder and I really focused it on my under eyes the most just because we're going to be doing our under eyes after this and the profusion palette has a lot of fallout and i didn't want any of those colors transferring to my face but i just lightly dusted this powder over all of my highlighted areas To set the perimeter of my face, I'm going to be taking my Black Radiance Press Powder and it's in the shade Rich Mahogany and I'm using this fluffy angled brush and I'm just going to press it into my skin. I'm going to take that black single eyeshadow from Wet n Wild and I'm going to put it directly under my eyes first. Now I'm going to take that dark blue shade mixed with a little bit of the purple and I'm going to put it under my eyes and after that I'm going to take the green and go right in front of it and then the yellow. So basically all the colors that we put on the top we're going to put on the bottom as well. Yes queen y'all look at that. So now we're going to dust away this powder and I'm using whatever excess of the Black Radiance powder is left on that powder brush to do so. Now I'm sculpting out my nose using my Fit Me Press Powder. This is the spray that I use to set my face on a daily basis. It is not a setting spray, but I use it as a setting spray anyway. You can find this in the dollar store for about $2. So I draw my face in it and then I go over it with my Bougie Girl fan. And before it's all the way dry, I take my Real Technique sponge and just pat everything together. I decided to go in with these two shades to serve as a blush or a bronzer and it turned out really pretty. It was really warm. I went in kind of heavy handed with it just because I want to bring some more color back to my face because I felt like I was looking real pale because I let that powder sit on my face. And to highlight, I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild highlighter. And this was so pretty, y'all. It was violet. Yes, ma'am. Look at it. So you want to smile first to get the apples of your cheeks and then just lightly dot the highlighter on your face. And I like to use an eyeshadow blending brush. Now I'm just lining my lips and to line my lips I like to use my LA Colors Dark Brown Eyebrow Pencil. First I like to outline my lips and then I like to go in and fill in the corners. This is my Maybelline Liquid Lipstick. The shade name for it will be down below, but I believe it's Nude Trio. If you've watched any of my videos, then you know I love this stuff. And then I went in with this NYC lip gloss in the center. I will have the shade name for it down low in the description box as well. But pretty much after I put it in the center, this is going to be the finished look. And y'all, look at this. Drugstore who? Drugstore who? Now I'm the queen of drugstore and beauty supply store. Who touching us? Who is touching us? Nobody. I 
I decided to fix my hair even though my scarf matched this look pretty well but I'm just adding a clip to my hair and then I'm going to try to comb out a few of these curls and lay down some of my flyaways. To lay down my flyaways, I took a pump of mousse. I don't know why I just didn't use hairspray, but I took a little bit of mousse and I just rubbed it over the top. It did the trick. And to comb out these curls, I'm using a shower comb. I do not know where this hair is from. I ordered this a very, very long time ago and made a wig out of it. So this is a lace front wig. But this is the finished look and I'm just going to let y'all watch my outro. hope you all enjoyed this affordable drugstore tutorial if you are new you should go watch my beauty supply tutorials as well because they're very affordable too this is the end of the video please like comment share rate and subscribe and stay tuned for my next one bye bye